Well, hello, Leo. Thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. If you guys are new, hello, I am Yasmin. If you have not already, please like and subscribe. All right, we're going to go ahead and get started with your reading. We're going to see what we have for you today, Leo. Let's get it. This is for Leo. Leo, you guys are patiently waiting for something. You guys could be in a relationship and you're trying to see how this relationship is going to go. You're trying to, you know, make sure you keep balance with how you feel. You don't want to let them know um, everything all at once, that type of thing. I love it. This is cute. And then for others, this really does talk about you guys waiting for real love to come in. I do feel like you guys have been waiting for a while. You know, honestly, it's like you poured your you you pour yourself into someone and it didn't work out. You know, you may have done that more than once. Um, so I really do feel like right now, um, this does talk about your, um, I guess, patience. I hate to say that because I haven't said that word in a while, but I feel like it is patience, being patient, and no matter what situation you're in, even if it's with if you're with someone or if you're waiting for someone here. Okay. Yeah, and I feel like it's been a struggle, especially if you guys have been waiting for real love to come in. Some of you guys are emotionally not in a good place. So I do feel like you've had your ups and downs. I feel that type of energy as well. I feel like if some of you guys are in a relationship, you know, you could be with someone who's ignoring you, or maybe you're in a relationship and someone wants real commitment and this person doesn't want to give commitment. That's part of that waiting energy, okay, for some of you. You're kind of like, okay, what is this all about? You know, are we going to move this to another level or not? Um, and But I feel like, let's, let's say if your person isn't moving, it into another direction. I'm just going to tell you, I feel like maybe your person still has feelings for someone in the past. Like you may dig them. Okay. But you're not sure why it's not moving forward. And I feel like this has something to do with them still waiting or still wanting something or struggling with their feelings with someone that they were with in the past here. And this could be you as well, Leo. Yeah. And I feel like there has been some you know, maybe, maybe there has been, you've been feeling this person acting cold towards you. They haven't been opening up communicating. I'm telling you, it has something to do with someone that they were dealing with in their past. That's what I'm seeing here in this reading. And I feel like Leo, some of you guys could be doing this. Okay. <laughs> some of you guys, you know, your person wants your attention and they feel that you're ignoring them. Okay. And you're kind of turning cold because there's things that you have not been able to let go. Okay. Yeah. And I do feel like for a few of you, if you guys are in connections right now and you're still, in, let's say you're in a connection and you're just with someone just to do, just because you, you're doing something. I do feel like the person that you guys were wanting, you know, that's not in your life right now is going to return. There is going to be a huge turning point in your life though, okay? And this is for all Leos. There's going to be a huge turning point. And I feel like for the better, um, right now, I feel like you guys are thinking about the future. Some of you guys are in tight spots. You need to make decisions. Um, but I really do feel like there's going to be some decisions being made here. But something about your past is in your reading from what I'm saying. Yeah, here with the page of wands. Some of you guys have been waiting for someone to communicate with you. Okay. You guys also have a new connection here as well. I have death card. So I do feel like some of you guys have been struggling with an ending of something, an ending of a connection. Um, some of you guys have been struggling with maybe someone that you loved or you knew that maybe, you know, they have passed away or passed on transition. And you've been struggling with those feelings for a very long time. But I do feel like there's going to be, like I said, a good change for you. There is going to be so much change. Some of you guys have been resisting change. The universe has been trying to get you guys to do something. And it's like you didn't want to do it. You were resisting. But I feel like now there's, you know, you guys are not going to resist. I feel like right now you probably really don't have a choice. There is going to be change on horizon for you. Yeah, here with the lover's car. Some of you guys are stuck in a dead end connection. And some of you guys are just frustrated because you're not with the person you want to be with right now. Um, I really do feel like this has something to do with, you know, maybe some of your friends. Okay. Some of you guys are not really getting along with your friends, but I feel like this is more lovers. This is, this has something to do with romantically. Someone is pulling away romantically and someone may get cut away. And if they don't get cut away, 
if you wanted to know the truth about them or if they wanted to know the truth about you, it's about to come out. That's what the Ace of Swords is saying. There's about to be clarity here. There's about to be truth here. And you're going to know because someone may have a decision between two different people here with the lover's card. One connection could be kind of like the person is acting funny towards their person that they're with because they really want to be with somebody else. That's about to be, you know, this, everything is, it's like the, the, the cover is going to be blown here. Um, a lot of stuff that you're about to find out. And for a lot of you, this has someone to do, uh, someone from your past coming in here talking to you because they can't hold back anymore. It seems like they could a little bit miserable, that type of thing. Um, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, and I do feel like here with the Queen of Cups, like I said, you guys have more than one option here. There is someone that's very interested in you. Look at this, Queen of Wands. Ooh, you guys are attracting, I mean, people like crazy. You're not going to be single, okay? If you're single right now, you're not going to be single for long. Um, I feel like you guys are really into your health now. You're trying to work out. You're worried about your body, that type of thing. You, you want to feel sexy. You want to do better when it comes down to you, who you are. I feel like that's going to happen as well. But you guys are attracting so many people here. And you're trying to get over a lot of hurt and pain. Some of you guys are going to be experiencing this. I just got to tell you, either you're going to do this to someone or someone is going to do this to you. There is some type of ending here. We saw it with the Death card. We see it with the Ten of Swords. And I feel like it's going to kind of like take you off guard like whoa what did that come from but like i said the ace of sword is the that's what this is about um it is literally whatever it has been hidden you're about to find out or they're about to find out what you've been thinking and here with the two of wands i feel like there's going to be a brand new beginning this is talking about partnership this is talking about going in a new direction that type of thing is what i'm saying here let's go ahead let's see what else we have here for you leo oh a few cards came out few cards some of you guys are going to be meeting someone in a professional setting like this could be you know someone who is uh in a, a law enforcement okay or a lawyer or a teacher for what i'm saying let me get these two first partnership told you that's what i'm saying i see partnership here Okay, a lot of you guys are going into a, you're already dating and that's going to actually turn into something more serious. Yeah, someone wants to, from I feel like someone from the past wants to come in and work something out with you. This just came out for, I believe, was this Libra? Almost the exact same cards and I've shuffled. Um, I feel like someone wants to work something out with you here. Um, and it, here it talks about just don't move too quick. If you guys are dating someone new, don't move too quickly here uh, from what I'm seeing. Just allow things to happen naturally. And it also talks about not spending too much money. Some of you guys are just spending money and it's just on stuff. You're not saving, you know, it's like you're not putting it in, a, in, in places where it should be, whether investing or whatever. You guys are just literally just like, whatever, just spending money, okay? <laughs> Um, here it talks about, um, and this talks about crafting. I don't really like that card too much. Yeah, emotion. I told you, this is somebody's going to fall in love. You guys are going to fall in love with someone from what I'm saying here. So I really do see a whole new direction for you. I see a, a lot of change and I see new partnership, but then I tell you there's going to be endings. There's about to be a release, a whole lot of change here is what I'm saying. And there are going to be unexpected things that you guys are going to experience as well, okay? Um, a lot of endings, okay? But this is what I have for you, uh, Leo. Thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. And again, if you guys are new, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell, and I'll see you guys back here again soon. Bye.